Hello friends, welcome to that 1870s homestead. My name's Rachel, and I'm pretty sure we have a problem out in the garden. I'm almost positive that I saw when we were on the walk last night, and I thought I would take you guys with me as I try to manage it this morning. And then I gotta go pick blueberries, but I've already taken you guys with me picking blueberries, so don't need to do that again. Um, but I don't want you to feel alone that, you know, us folks here on YouTube don't have pest problems because we certainly do. And I'm just grabbing a ring and a lid for my jar because we certainly do. And um, sometimes pests are different each and every year. Um, so this pest I haven't dealt with in a long time. Um, so grabbing all my goodies and then we're gonna head out to the garden. I'll meet you guys out there and show ya. So, and how I'm gonna try to tackle it. Oh my goodness, but first just look at the flowers this morning. So, oh, I just, if you're not planting flowers in your garden, do it if nothing else. For you because I promise you it will make you so much happier when you come to your garden and you have to deal with stuff like this so let's go I have what I grabbed in the house was just a mason jar of soapy water and if they're still here I'm gonna show you if they're not here then um, I'll show you the damage that was done and that is a potato beetle. Yep, they're still here. I see them. Oh, and they will just decimate a potato plant. And I have dealt with these before, so let me show you what they are. Okay, come down here. Whoops, wrong way. Those are the dreaded potato beetles. And see, they just eat, eat, and poop all over the leaves. So, let me get you guys set up and I'll show you how I'm taking care of them. So I know my onion plants are a little bit gonna be in the way, but what we're gonna try to do is just flick them into this bowl of water. And drown these little buggers before they hatch a ton of babies. I don't know what they do, honestly. I don't even know if they do that because I think the last time I had them, I was still very, very new at gardening. And this is one of my biggest advice to gardening is if, if you can, and I don't even, now that I'm even retired, I don't make sure that I take the opportunity to just walk around once a day and see if anything is getting attacked like something doesn't look healthy whether it's bugs or funguses or um, I'm going to show you guys in this video too a couple other pests that I look for and at least one other preventative method that I can show you today and so this is them is that showing up on the camera yeah they're kind of like, I don't know, like big fatty ladybugs. And there's a little tiny, tiny one. And it's quick and simple to solve it, but say I hadn't been out, I mean, this is like two days of damage probably. And cause they weren't here the last time I just did a video with you guys earlier in the week showing you how beautiful my potato plants looked. So they come in very similar to Japanese beetles. They will just destroy a crop um, to where there's not enough green foliage for the plant to grow and thrive and be healthy. And it can stunt, you know, the growth of the potatoes in the ground. So I don't want that. And I'm not sure what beneficial insect eats a potato beetle to advise you on. I'm just looking for all of them. 
So they're a little scattered throughout the garden. It's actually a little easier for me to just grab and throw in the soapy water. And then I'm just gonna dump this to the chickens and the chickens are gonna get a snack. And look down under leaves, the base of the plants, the soil. Like I'm seeing them down on the stems. And I know not everyone can handle bugs. Like, I mean, I am i really don't have a fear of bugs at all. Um, so to pick them up and throw them in the water is not something that gives me the eebie-jeebies. Um, if it does for you, you know, do the little flick method or bring a stick with you and, and tap them off um, would be my best advice. But you don't want to leave them there. I'm going to keep going through and get all these that I can get and show you, I guess, how many we end up getting at the end. Oh, I don't like them. And I know down south you guys deal with other pests that I don't have to deal with up here. So maybe in today's video, what we can all do for each other is leave a description in the comment section what is your primary pest that you deal with or have dealt with this season and what have you done to manage it or get rid of it because i guarantee you somebody else is going to benefit from that knowledge and lesson learned and you may have pests that i just don't have um like i'm thinking of one down south what do you guys get some kind of worm in your tomatoes i think is it army worms we don't, I've never, at least knock on wood, I've never had to deal with that yet. Um, I don't know if they come this far north, but if you have a way, I know that that's a way, something that people struggle with a lot. Oh, there's a big one. So I'm going to try to get them all. And what I'm going to do is just really, really check over the next few days and make sure that I've gotten them all. This plant's gotten good. You can tell which ones are eating good too because they're chubby. Yeah, they must lay larvae on here because there's itty bitty bitty ones and big mama ones. So they must lay eggs. They're not too hard to find. Okay, I think I got them all. It really wasn't too bad. Oops, there's one I see. Where'd you go? There you are. Oh, there's a big mama. Nope. And I, I don't know enough about them to know like how to identify like eggs. So I'll go in and research that. Like I'm looking under the leaves. I'm not seeing anything. So I don't know if any of that black poop and sludge stuff is eggs. Not quite, not quite sure, but I'm getting everything I can find. Oh, found some more. Another common one that I'll get is a cucumber beetle. So a cucumber beetle is like black and yellow spotted, I believe. And uh, beetles are one of the easiest pests to manage, though. Honestly, while they can do a lot of damage fast. It's really one of the easiest pests to manage because of how simple this is, of just picking them off and throwing them in the jar. And once you have them under control, you've got them under control. So I'll keep coming out here probably, like I mentioned, every couple days. I'm gonna walk my mature potato plants and see if any of those are affected. And maybe it's something that they just come after the young potato plants because these are my later plantings. So this is a very badly damaged potato plant that should not look like this. That should look like this. Nice big green full foliage. You can see this one's just started getting eating and this one is just decimated. Hardly any leaves on it. Thankfully there's one still good vine here. Oh, look who we found back here. 
Okay, go in the jar. So, yeah, I mean, and you'll have a really good plant and then a not so good plant eaten up. So, I was told you I was gonna mention, let's look at what we got. So here's our jar of potato beetles. Probably not bad considering I caught them soon, but my hand's nasty. I want to show you guys another pest prevention that um, is always works for me. And that is a very common pest for us is squash vine borers. Squash vine borers get into the kind of like right above the root base and the stalk of your plant and they lay lar larva in the stalk and it will kill your plant. You'll have this beautiful squash plant and then one day it's all wilted and it dies. I've seen the larvae, but I've yet to understand what the bug itself looks like that lays the larvae. I will dig down to the very first roots of my squash plant and tape it um, up the vine with athletic tape and it saves all my squash and zucchini plants from that just do it as soon as you can you know once you have you know a couple inches of stalk there and this um, athletic tape will expand with the growth of the plant so it doesn't hinder it you want to tape it tightly and well so that um, you know it can't creep in underneath oops I'm not showing you underneath the tape and another tip is plant so like up here i could because the squash will root itself again i could dig some soil and plant this again up here so another tip you'll see like um all of them have been taped they have all been taped every single one of them and that is a great way. Now, similarly, about this time of year, midsummer, or beginning of summer, I should say, I'll just, when I do a check, turn over the leaves, make sure I'm not finding any squash bug eggs. And squash bug eggs look like little tiny yellow or orange or brown, depending on the maturity of the egg, like little tiny seeds or wax balls and they'll be on the underside of the leaves. And a squash bug kind of almost looks like a little miniature stink bug. And so if you see kind of like a stink bug looking thing climbing on your leaves, you have squash bugs and you want to start finding the eggs. As long as you kill those eggs, you're, you're going to be good. So you can kill the mamas and... Um, Kind of try to stay on top of the egg lane but i've found they they love 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 laying in the crotch of the stems but that's not the only place they'll lay up here too they'll lay anywhere but they really love laying in the stems and if you catch them early enough you can stay on top of the damage that they're going to do to your squash plants so similarly, zucchini plants have all been taped and protected. So I think we're good. I'm not just doing a, one other glance. Sometimes that's all you need is just a glance at the garden to say, am I seeing anything that looks out of the ordinary? Like if I glance down my tomato row, Am I seeing any stems that don't have any leaves on them? That's a really good sign I've got a tomato hornworm in the garden that I need to find. I'm not seeing that, but I am seeing my beautiful amaranth blooming. So beautiful. It's an emerald amaranth, so I'm excited to see that. But I'm, I'll walk one time through, see if I see anything on the tomatoes. Nope, everybody's got all their leaves. Great. Very, I, it's hard to tell with carrots, root crops. Like, so 
it's um, it's impossible really till you harvest to know if you have like under the soil pest like um what is the root there's a carrot fly some kind of carrot fly and it'll lay its larva down in the roots of the carrots or the larva likes to eat off of it and you'll have like holy carrots um so that's almost impossible to find things like that but yeah i think i think we did a really good job coming out here early oopsie i just walked by and i found another one that just climbed on top of the leaf okay i got you okay so that is my tip of the day for gardening is it's not always gonna be the fun super like let me, let me go just pull in some kale today <laughs> let me go water my garden it's such a beautiful morning sometimes you walk by and you're like oh what is that those orange balls all over my potatoes which is what I did last night when I walked by I was like I glanced and I saw all these little orange balls and I was like mm, we got potato beetles so get out there as soon as you can get them off there and then you'll win the win the fight thank you very much for joining me this morning it's a hot muggy morning on a Saturday and I got to go pick blueberries and that is full sun over there. So I'll see you guys on the next video and happy growing, happy gardening where you guys are. And I'll talk to you later.